What's up, everybody? Uh, this is Steve Nassau. Uh, or me. Whatever you want to call me. Um, uh, or whatever, uh, works for you. Um, so today, uh, this is my first time, but, um, I'll try my best to explain everything, um, as best as I can. Um, so today I'm going to be doing a tutorial of uh, how to use uh, Lua uh, TV. Um, and I will tell you what that is first before we begin. Um, Lua uh, TV is basically uh, one of those um, multi-screen uh, web browser, uh, web, not web browser, website uh, that allows you to multi-screen in all several uh, different applications all at once uh, without building any other uh, platform to stream other uh, platform if you are finished. So, um, yeah, so, um, so with this one, uh, the reason why I choose this one is because one, it's really easy. Two, uh, it's a lot better to use because, therefore, um, I'm just not liking to stream, uh, on my phone constantly and burning up my battery and training my battery, um, for unnecessary, uh, things, um, and also, I wouldn't have any batteries left uh, for important things like a phone call or something like that. Anything that is important that you need. Um, I only mainly uh, use my phone to stream outside, but not for a very long time. But, um, yeah, so, and for me, this is like the best way to go to. Uh, compared to any other website that I have tried it out, um, wasn't really a lot of, uh, websites that support apps, like, for example, like, TikTok, uh, any phone-only, uh, application, basically. Um, again, TikTok, like me, uh, Periscope, Twitch, uh, YouTube, etc, etc, and, uh, yeah, so, um, let's go ahead and get to it, uh, first thing you want to do is, if you're on a Mac, uh, it works exactly the same as Windows, um, Windows and Mac are basically works in the same process, so, um, with a web browser that you will need is Google Chrome because Google Chrome is something that we want to be always support on uh, that specific uh, web browser. Um, so what you want to do is go ahead and go to Google Chrome and then once you, you go to the search box and you look up Lua. The way you spell it is L O O L A dot T V. Dot no no dot com or anything. So it's dot T V. So yeah, this is basically uh what shows you what uh this application uh does when you stream all at once. So it's basically just like the diaphragm that all goes into a laptop or computer or um, OBS or something like that. Um, <clears throat> so, um, let's see. Uh, before you get to this process, it'll ask you 
is a lot here to your Google account, which is uh, YouTube that you guys use on, or uh, the channel that you use. Uh, this is me, by the way. Hi. <laughs> so, yeah, this is what you see. Uh, this is pretty much all your interface. Um, on this left side, we'll swipe. Uh, we should. Uh, right here, we'll start from the left side over to the right. So, the top left is uh, your screen. So, if you click on uh, these specific applications, uh, when they are colored, that means they are connected and the ones that you want to stream on. Uh, is it a gray or uh, gray color? Uh, not gray out, but gray color. That is, it's not connected. Uh, not turned on, not something you want to use. Uh, yeah, so if you want to turn them on, you just click on them. Um, yeah, so with this, you just hide this with the arrow. Let's show it, hide it. Um, and then the next one is the most engaged. Basically, uh, your work will be shown uh, here. Anyone that costs you the most will be shown up right here. Any platform, again. Uh, and then we'll go to the screen. Uh, webcam, if you are using a webcam, for example, uh, or if you're using a third party software, you are uh, probably mostly likely to use OBS, which is recommended, or Elgato uh, if you're in it. That's best for you, in my opinion. But if you're trying to get on OBS for Windows, that's fine, but on a Mac, it's kind of difficult um, at the moment. Uh, it does work. But for me, whenever I use my iPhone as my camera on OBS, it's just delayed uh, a little bit. Uh, sometimes I like a lot. So this is what you use. Uh, yeah, so. Uh, yeah, so that's basically just your clothes. Uh, that's actually my but. That's what I've been used, so. Uh, yeah, so. <clears throat> so, yeah, so. Go back to the webcam. Uh, yeah, so. When you're gonna use my camera and use my iPhone, uh, cause the thing with iPhones, they have better resolution and better lighting than the watches hat. And they also has a, a, 60, a different uh, 60 frame per second uh, if you stream on OBS or Elgato. That uh, works well. But uh, yeah, and uh, for the final part, uh, there are some features that does work. Uh, some of these are uh, not available at the moment. Uh, for example, the ones that are available are the layout. Uh, so basically, you can add text on your screen, I believe. Uh, yeah, so. Yeah, so. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so that's what that is. Uh, you hit that uh, right or click. Arrow to go back. There's Q and A effects. Uh, yeah, so if I click uh, any of these, uh, well, that was working a uh, while back. It wasn't, but uh, there's that. Uh, yeah, that's not available. That's not available. This one is. Uh, this was not. Also, this was not. So the only one. It is available as a period and layout. Um, so, the top on the right screen, uh, 
they tell me it's a viewers uh, if I have a lot of viewers that people are watching you they will show up up here uh, there's white there's a certain app that has uh, a white in it in the app within the app uh, for example TikTok uh, digitally it hits the button it hits uh, whatever people hit the button they like it it'll show up over here uh, and also this is a split uh, mirror camera like that uh, yeah so that's what it looks like uh, for microphones this is where you uh, need it or if you want to need it you click it and you want to uh, wash out your camera uh, or if this is what uh, click on that. So when you click on it, it just shows a flat screen. Nothing else. Just a flat screen. Um, for settings, this is the settings. It gives you what kind of uh, internal or external audio that you want to use for. Like, say, if you're a DJ, uh, you can definitely use your DJ, uh, uh, turntable or what they call it, uh, you know, DJ stuff, that kind of stuff, or if you're uh, a musician, definitely probably works for this, uh, depending if you don't have a mess with it, or, you know, set up with the mini setup on you. Uh, and then, uh, same thing with Windows, is just yeah, I figure out how to do it. Um, and then the final one is your camera ratio settings. The top three is your uh, landscape. By the uh, The bottom three is portrait. It's the full landscape. So that's how like the ratio. Um, for this, resolution, if you have a really good camera, definitely go for the highest one to the bottom. Uh, same thing with last tape. So, if you want to just, uh, disappear, click on that again. And then, uh, two more things. Uh, chat and the support if you need to contact support. This will be right here. Um, and another thing is the wire. So, um, uh, I don't have anything connected, but whenever you're ready, you can hit that little wire button. Um, also, this is a chat box. It's saying that people talk to you on, will show up right here. So, um, again, all platforms. So, uh, if you go to settings, you can, uh, if you want to connect to these apps, I you to click on these and that will be connected. And, uh, yeah, so, that's pretty much it, everybody. Uh, it's not really hard, it's really easy. Um, I think I pretty much explain everything. Uh, so again, if, if you don't have enough money to buy uh, a pro or a premium uh, version for this, definitely go with the free uh, free version because so that's why I use the most. Uh, it, it'll have watermark on it, but um, yeah. So if you want to uh, remove the watermark, is definitely worth the price, especially. Uh, you get more hours as well, so, yeah. And, uh, yeah, so that's, that's everything, and, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and hopefully this helps you out. If not, I tried my best, and, yeah, so, thank you guys for watching, and see you guys later. Bye!